Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Blueprint. This is a free game that you can uh, download from the link that I'm going to give below this video. Uh, obviously you can donate to the author if you'd like to see more projects like this. It is Windows only. It's by David Joslin who also did the Minecraft mod Finite Liquid or Finite Liquid, sorry. So Blueprint is a physics based puzzler. Let's jump right in. I'm only going to do two or three puzzles uh, because I think that all it'll be to give you an idea of how this works. And it is free, so you can always check it out for yourself. And it does support user-created levels, which I will show you that in just a minute. moment. So let me go ahead and pick this. So we've got the trampoline here. Now the idea, we have to get these balls onto the scale. And... According to each level, we can only make so many of certain items. So this level is teaching us how to use the trampoline. So we can pick the trampoline and we'll draw it out. Let's do it correctly this time. Draw it out. Now you can move it around after you've drawn it. You can also move the power so it bounces more or it bounces less. Now, you have five that you can use on this level at least. Now you get but we rewarded bonus points if you use less items. You have three scores, basically. You have the time score, you have a material score. In other words, the less materials you use, the better your score will be, as well as efficiency. So losing balls uh, is bad, as you might imagine. So we have the ice floors here. This is where the balls kind of slip and slide. The metal, the balls they hit, they lose their momentum very quickly. We have fans, which push the balls, and we have these conveyor belts, which uh, shoot them up depending on their power. And you can actually make a lot of these different obstacles uh, depending on the stage that you're on. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. I have done this before. So the first thing I want to do is block this off. I want to get all the balls going in one direction. And we'll do it the way I did before, just because I know how I did it. So let's go ahead and pump the power up on this to get it up high. Actually, we want it to drop a bit more, I think, so that it has more momentum to bounce back up. We are also going to put... Oh, I accidentally drew one right here. Oops, I you can also just press delete to get rid of the trampolines. And we're going to push them this way. These arrows here will push the balls in a whatever direction that they're pointing. So, And now the balls are kind of all gone crazy. Here's the thing, you're just setting up the blueprint right now, hence the name. So you're not timed or anything right now. Now is basically the planning phase. So we've got them all going out the same direction, but they're they're flying all over the place. Let's make another trampoline. And now you can see they are bouncing up here, and because this is metal, it stops very quickly. And these are basically slowdowns, it's like tar almost. And you can see we've hit the green. So let's do one more test run before we finalize. Let's refresh. They bounce, go through, get up. And that's pretty quick. We didn't lose any balls. So let's go ahead and finalize. Let's see what our score is. It'll go through. So anything nine seconds or less will get you a gold. I used three entities, so I got a gold again instead of using them all. And 100% efficiency. So I got gold on all because I'm amazing. One thing I do like, the applause you hear in the background is louder based on the star that you get. So if you get bronze, it's just a few people clapping awkwardly. If you get a silver, it's more people, and then gold is is the the crowd goes wild. So let's go ahead and do one other normal level. Let's do let's do one of the early ones so that I don't uh, mess it up. So here we have we can draw one solid, or we can and we can make three ice again. Ice they slide a little bit better on the ice. So I actually don't remember how I did this. Well, I'm completely blanking on how I, I might have done this one. Because if you just draw the ice down here, it's not really, oops, not really going to help us. Sometimes you do need to refresh. You can also change the speed at which the balls come down. See, that's not going to help us at all. So, instead, let's get them going this way. So let's put the walls here. I put it a little too close. The big ones couldn't get through. And we'll put another ice over here. We'll get the specifics ironed out here in just a second. Just moving it over. And this fan is blowing them this direction. 
And we want them to stop here, so we'll just put a wall. You can actually intersect your walls with other objects, too. And this is not ideal. Uh, we're still losing balls. But let's go ahead and finalize. Again, I just want to kind of show you guys the basics of how this works. They want to ruin these puzzles for you. That is kind of part of the fun, is figuring out the most efficient way to do it, to get gold stars on all of them. Uh, obviously, my efficiency here was uh, uh, horrific, so I just got a bronze. So let's try one of the user-created maps. And you can see that you can actually create your own maps. And what's really cool is that you can upload to their server from this. And then when you go to user made, you can see them. Now, I don't know if there's any kind of warden process. Warden's not really the, the word. A curator process where maybe the creator or whoever goes through, and, goes through and looks at them. But I do know after I played a map, which we're about to play now, it asked me to rate it. So I'm thinking maybe it's he, he's just uh, just relying on the community to curate and rate. So let's go ahead and play this one again called The Inverted. And I think it's really cool that not only can you make your own levels, but they're automatically uploaded um, and you can download other people's. As far as I can tell, that's how it works. So here we go. This one was actually pretty easy, uh, to be honest. Uh, so first thing we want to do is the scale is right here. So we want to get them all coming this way. And we have some new mechanics. We have attract, repel, and fan. Attract, as you might imagine, attracts the balls. And again, you can change the power. You can make it less power or more powerful. So for now, let's go ahead and delete that. And let's, how did I do this before? Ah, yes, I put a repel here. Because I want all of these, when they come out, to get pushed to the side. Let's go ahead and reset. There we go. Now we all got them to the side, which is good. And I don't think this is going to work, but just kind of to show you how sometimes the thought process works. I was thinking, well, I'll pull them in here, you know, put it right on top of the scale. But uh, it doesn't quite work because when they get up here, they get stuck trying to go down. So let's delete it. Start the, the flow again. And this time, let's put a fan over here. I kind of put mine way out. I don't know why it wasn't really necessary. Uh, actually, I guess it was because see now if I put it here, it blows them way over there. So we want to bring it back a little bit because we want them to come past the ice. In fact, we might go ahead and come down and change the angle. Try to get as many as we can without losing any. I'm going to actually increase the power on the repel. Because some of these are coming out really slowly and it's causing them to fall off. So let's go ahead and reset. See how it goes. They all come across. Ah, there's still these guys wanting to not make it. So tell you what, we're going to pump the power up again. Give it more of an up angle. Let's move this. So again, let's refresh. We've almost got this one. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and finalize and see how we do. I don't know if you can slow down the finalize, but it goes through very quickly. So we got a gold star on that. We only used two entities, so we got a gold. And I'm assuming the map creator decides what counts as a gold, silver, and, and bronze star. So that is Blueprint. Very short, let's try today. Because I, again, I wanted to show you the basics. Uh, there are other things. There's the trampolines, there's the fans, there's a tracks, there's magnets, there's a different floors to use. So I'm assuming as you play, you will have to use more and more of these things to beat the challenge. It's been pretty fun. I'm, I'm not big into these physics type puzzles in general, but I did enjoy the time that I've played. Uh, it is, I think they, uh, in the email he sent me, I think he said there was about 30 level, over 30 levels total. And of course, like I said, there are the user made levels if you are into that. So definitely check it out. It is free. I will put a link to uh, the website below the video description so that you can check it out for yourself. Uh, and it is for Windows only right now. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And I will see you next time.